Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name's Chris. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new enhanced polymer magazine from PTS, formerly Magpul PTS. Um, ever since they lost the license to produce replicas of Magpul products, obviously their old uh, PMAGs, EMAGs and TMAGs have uh, pretty much all dried up all the stock of those. Um, but they were very, very popular. They were held in high regard by a lot of people. I've got quite a lot of them uh, in various different versions and they're extremely good. Uh, expensive but extremely high quality uh, magazines. So they've come out with the EPM, Enhanced Polymer Magazine, 150 round capacity, got one here. Straight out of the packet, let's see what it's all about. Like I said, we've got 150 round capacity, which is a lot for a mid-cap. They've made quite a few changes to the old um, PMAGs, obviously. You know, it's pretty much an external change to get around the fact they lost the Magpul license. So the insides, the actual inside shell, pretty similar to the old one, but with a few, uh, a few improvements, a little bit of reworking to increase the capacity. So on the new EPM, we've got this rubber base plate. It's really nice. Uh, you've got a grid matrix here, so you can mark, you know, different identify all the different magazines in your collection. You've got this sort of monopod here, so when you're lying prone. You can dig that onto the ground, that'd be a nice base for stability. And then just generally it's a nice area to grab onto. It gives you a good grip in the hand, whether you're uh, either going for that traditional or beer can grip as it's called, or if you go to index the mag, it's a nice little handhold. Got texturized cutouts on the front of the magazine and on the spine. And again, when you go for that beer can grip, make it really nice to hold onto. Stabilizing fins which is supposed to be anti-snag up here in the area that will sit inside the mag of the gun. Uh, I'm not sure, I think there's a chance these might snag on pouches because when you're reinserting into a pouch, it could stick out and sort of, you know, especially with uh, stuff like Blue Force Gear 10 speeds, but you know, we'll see how that goes. They've got a nice weight to them, they feel extremely solid. Uh, these fake round inserts are actually metal, so they look pretty good. And then just in here, there's a little window and when the magazine's fully loaded, the orange follower, will appear in that window so that you know you've got a full 150. So like so, like so. Just come out of the packet. Well, my first time putting any BBs in this mag. One always seems to pop out when you're using speed loads. So, let's see if it works. Okay, so we've got a G and a M4 here. Got our EPM, a few rounds inside, so first things first of course. I pro up. Fit. And it shoots. It doesn't feed every round, but then mid caps never do. So now that we know it shoots in this condition, let's see what it can stand up to. Okay, so you're at a skirmish and you drop your magazine. How's it going to hold up to that? Let's find out. Okay, so what if you want to do some tactical dynamic reloads and it smashes into something? Will your EPM stand up to it? Let's find out. Okay, so we've smashed and dropped and crashed it about 20 times now. A uh, little bit of deformation up there and there is a sort of a split in the base pad kind of it's still solid though it's not going anywhere so uh put a few more bbs in see if it shoots We 
he took it. So what would happen if someone chucked it out of a first floor window? And then after they chucked out a window a couple of times, then it got shot out. How's it going to handle that? Okay, so we chucked out the first floor window twice, uh, shot it with about 20 rounds from an AEG at about 340 FPS. Um, launched it out of the window, did some damage a little bit to that area there, that's pretty thin plastic, used to be expected, and uh, the base plate came off because we pretty much split it right apart, although it actually went back on and it's still on there, so that's pretty good. Uh, shooting it with the AEG left those little white marks and shooting it with with two Moscarts didn't do uh, anything really, so let's see what else we can do with it. Okay, so post chucking it out a window and shooting it, let's see if the uh, EPM works in the mini me here. Fits all right. Feeding still. Let's try something else. Okay, so say you drop your EPM in the uh, safe zone car park and then someone rolls over it in their car. What if that happened twice? Okay, so post running the EPM over with my massive monster truck, <clears throat> Uh, you can, well this is the side that the tyres went over, this is the side that was up, uh, yeah, uh, the underside where it's been torqued against the paving, uh, that's scuffed it a bit there, so now let's, uh, let's try it out in the PTS ACR. Okay, so it's still retaining the BBs just fine. Yep. See if it still feeds. So, yep, still working. Okay, so we've pretty much smashed the EPM up uh, in quite a few ways and Realistically, yeah, you know, if you took drills and sledgehammers and pickaxes to it, I'm sure you could break it. We've definitely subjected to far more uh, aggressive actions and far more detrimental forces than it is ever going to reasonably experience. Um, certainly, I mean, realistically, what's going to happen to this magazine, you know, you know, when using it for airsoft, is it'll probably get dropped a few times, uh, possibly in mud, which is clearly not going to do anything to it. You know, it might get stepped on, but if a car can roll over it, even my little thing, then, you know, a person stepping on it is not going to do anything. And it has worked at every stage, no matter what we've done to it, chucked it around, shot it, etc. Uh, I don't have any explosives, I'm afraid, so I can't blow it up. But really all we've succeeded in doing is making that split in the base pad, which is a uh, sort of it's kind of hanging on there but the fact is it's still uh, without actually pressing the detent you still can't remove it it still fits in the guns it still feeds that's exactly what you wanted to do uh, even with all the, the damage to the actual feeding area with the port there so yeah uh, really really can't fault it these things are very very tough so there we go
thanks for watching everyone uh, hit the thumbs up and the shares and all good stuff if you, if you could that would be much appreciated um, cheers to all the subscribers uh, check out the Facebook page in the link down below in the description box do daily updates on there and yeah thanks again for watching see you next time